Hello YouTube, Big Planes here, and today I wanted to show you my B2 bomber. This plane is quite large, it has a wingspan of about 5 feet, but it's not very long. It's only about two, a little under 2 feet long. It does have some features in it though, like this beaver tail flap here. It's sort of interesting, it actually works by sliding out of the aircraft first, like this, and then once it slides out, it comes down. So when you pull it out, it just comes down, slides all in one. Same sort of thing going on out here for the tips of the wings, except as so you can see here, it has sort of a dual flap system that they used on many of the flying wings. So you would actually, this one would come down like this, then the one in the bottom would come down like that. Just lock in there like so. This thing does have an interior at the front. You can see all you have to do is pull the thing off. Sometimes it pulls off more than it should, but <laughs> yeah. And as you can see, there, is, bleh, there are some control consoles in there. Not, it's not super realistic, but there aren't that many pictures of B2 cockpits, so I didn't have much to work off of. In the back, I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, sorry, my fingers went over the camera. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's also a, a toilet in the back there. Eh, eh. You can sort of see it. This plane is pretty big and it uses a hinge technique whereas the center section here is straight or the it's parallel but these here are hinged about right here in one long hinge and it's attached like two wings sort of how the B-52 was put together but it was put together with these tiles overlaying it on the top and on the bottom sort of like a sandwich so it's sort of sandwiched in there and that's how I got the the swept wing and the flying wing design. You can see back here, it meets at the en engine exhaust. It's, it's really dusty, it's sort of disgusting, but that's, that's, where, that's where it meets. And you can tell that right here, it folds under the main fuselage, which is straight. You can easily remove the top of the aircraft to reveal a battery box. This is a brick stuff battery box. You can get them at brick stuff. Just flip the switch and on goes the lights on both sides. The decals on this aircraft took a very long time to put those on and they were very tedious and monotonous but they really do add a lot to the plane which is why I put them on there in the first place. I am very proud of this plane. It did win Best Historical at Bricks by the Bay 2017 so it won it and the B-52 won it, and the B-1, which is not in the frame, also won it. It was as the triad. There will, I will be doing a video where I show them all three together as the triad. But that will be for Once later. the aircraft is flipped over, you can see all the details on the bottom. Here are the bomb bays. They're a bit, bit hard to close, but these two things would come down like this. And the doors would shut. I'll, I'll show you a picture of that. Alright, after a lot of labor, those doors finally shut. So they are shuttable, but they're just, they get very sticky when they don't get used for a while. Up here, this is the crew hatch. I'm overexposed there, sorry. This is the crew hatch where it could fold up when they need it. It folds straight in there like that. This right here is the nose gear. If you let me show you that retract. As you can see, the nose gear also retracts into the body. The main landing gear can also retract into the body of the aircraft. I already did one over here just to be able to give you an example of what it looks like. My decals aren't on there that great, but, but they, they get the job done, right? This one is the spirit of California. Anytime, anywhere. That's all for this one, and I hope you enjoyed it. I do have some updates on the B-52 though, this spickled giant over here. I was able to update the nose a bit more. Move the flag out of the way here. Oh, there we go, that's, that's better. It's a little more, a little more smooth now. I'm trying to make it look a little bit better. It's a bit it's able to get some, some curved slopes and tiles up here. But, but other than that, no, not very much has gone on with it. It's just moved it over here to this new location. Tell me in the comments sections if you think I should do another video on this one. Bye for now.